Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be painting the four scythe uh, mechs for the red team um, that come in the scythe board game. Uh, I'm not going to talk much, I'm just going to sort of talk at the start of each section to explain what I'm doing um, and talk about what I'm using and, and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I'm simply priming the models, starting from the base red plastic. Um, and this just helps paint stick better. Um, otherwise, you will find that as you pick up the models later when you're playing with them, they will chip and rub off, um, which is obviously not ideal. Uh, I'm simply using Vallejo Surface Primer. Um, it's a bottle that I have. I don't have an airbrush or anything. Um, so I simply use my paintbrush for everything. Um, and yeah, I'll just go through and do this on all the models, covering every bit. Now I'm going to give the mechs a, a full base coat of red. Um, I'm not being very careful. You can see I'm using a, a very large, uh, not very sharp brush. Um, it's my sort of base coating priming brush. Uh, yeah, I'm not being very keep careful because I know that every, almost every part of the, the model will be red. Um, so I'm just trying to get it over most of the model. Now I'm going to go through and base coat the black details. Um, basically, I'm just looking for anywhere where it doesn't look like it's armor plating. Um, so sort of the arm mechanisms as well as the leg mechanisms. Uh, I'm trying to be a bit more careful here, um, simply because I don't want to put the black on top of the red. But in the case that I do, I, I simply go back and fix up any of those little mistakes.
now I'm going to simply touch up any of the red details that I either went over with black or, or missed the first time. Um, you'll notice I, I missed the guns at the top. Um, I sort of forgot about those. So I'm now just going to touch that up with red. Um, same process as, as the first time. Now I'm going to give the model a, a full all over black wash. Um, I'm using Games Workshop Nuln Oil, which is a, a real staple for any beginning painter. Um, I find that this simply gives the model a bit more depth uh, and it, it really saves you from having to line all the panels, especially on uh, very small detailed models like these. Um, Part of the reason I'm doing it all over instead of being careful about where I put it is because these are giant mechs that have been walking around for a while. Um, they're a bit rough, they're a bit dirty, so it's kind of an intentional look to have it as, as a dirty uh, sort of black washed over mech. In order to, to bring out some of those details, um, with the black wash, the whole model is looking quite dirty. Uh, I'm going to do a dry brush of a, sort of a brighter orange. I've mixed an orange using yellow and red paint. Um, you can see I'm using a small makeup brush. Uh, most of the paint is off it, and all that is left is, is a very small amount that will catch on ridges as it gets passed over. Um, Basically, I'll just go through, do this on each of the models, trying to catch those sort of divots and, and things that are on the top of the, the model uh, and leaving that wash in the recesses.
this is the, the final step. Um, basically, I've taken a very small sponge, um, or sorry, I've cut up a sponge to make it small, holding tweezers and, and put a bit of silver paint. Uh, I'm specifically using Runefang steel. Um, it's the only sort of metallic silver I've got. Um, using that small sponge, you sort of dab it on areas you expect to see more wear. So I'm, I've done it on especially the blades um, coming out in the front. I'm assuming they would be used a lot, um, but also down on the feet, wherever the, the mech is, is walking. It's likely to get scratches. It's likely to get scuffed up, um, as well as on all the, the sort of joints of the mechs. Um, anything that moves is more likely to rub any sort of paint off. Uh, and because of that, that's where I'm focusing. And here we have the finished product. Um, all up, it took me an hour to do all four minis. I've shown you basically each step on one of them. Um, I think it's a really simple paint scheme that works really well. Obviously, being all red, they're really identifiable as the red player's pieces, um, but they still have a bit of character to them. I think that the, the highlighting and the weathering steps really add a bit of interest to the models. Um, the weathering especially makes it really look like there are big hunks of metal that have been walking around um, and not like clean robots that really don't exist. Thanks for watching.